Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... How are you holding up? You mean after seeing a guy get crushed under a ton of sand? Yeah, definitely a little shaken up. We need to figure out who's doing this. And how. Well, keep your eyes open. Between the two of us, I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. Sounds good to me. Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of Just you like is the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. It's just... A costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for a voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. They must have a reason for it. Well, hopefully something else in here can shed a little more light on the situation. He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A White Pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles. The whole show with the White Pumpkin. It was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. It means that we can figure out the White Pumpkin's identity. Whoever had access to the button must be him. Wait, so you're saying that the White Pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? We need to figure out the most likely suspects and interrogate them. Judging by the tipped arrows and these traps, the White Pumpkin must have some serious chops in brewing and redstone. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means that the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. This is crazy. The evidence is rather incriminating. Yeah, well, your face is incriminating. I'm taking charge now. And I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I've got a whole lot of questions and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Stampy Cat. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. 
I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um, as much as the others at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stumpy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stumpy! Everyone's friend! Ah, oh, come on now, Mr. Stampy. I thought you were some legendary adventurer. You want me to believe that you don't want an ancient artifact that lets you travel to different worlds? Ooh, I mean, that does sound tempting, but, uh, no, no, thank you. I'm fine with my local legend status. I'm a man of simple pleasures. <laughs> Please, just tell me what you want to know. Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yes, yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. What do you know about Redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average. Average level moderate. I don't know how these things are graded these days. I know that Dan's been getting really into the stuff lately, though. Just putting that out there, in case you're curious. Dan's interested in redstone, huh? Know anything about this? Oh, wow! What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Who's up next? Can you send in Dan, please? Right. Hey, I don't know what Stampy told you, but... I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about, I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. I, I, I just can't believe this is all over my enchanted flint and steel. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions. Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'd ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. So, how would you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tri-Block champion. Weird. Stampy said that you were pretty into redstone. Haha, <laughs> what? No, he's got me confused with someone else. I'm sure of it. Now, Lizzie, though, I've seen her do some amazing things with redstone. Between you and me, I wouldn't be surprised if she was the one behind all of this. Out with it! Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. And when you talk to Lizzie, don't forget to ask her about those crazy magic arrows. I bet she'll know something. Want me to send in Lizzie? That'd be great. Thanks, Petra.
Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it's stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? Oh, and so that's why you invited everyone here, huh? To find out who stole it. I wouldn't waste my time in all these white pumpkin games. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? I'm just going to be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You got to talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. So I've heard. Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. What? Yeah, I knew what a tipped arrow was. I'm a good brewer. Doesn't mean it's mine. I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those ages ago. No, because everyone else seems to think otherwise. What? What are you talking about? Yeah? Everyone I ask says that you're the only one with the skills here to make something like this. Okay, sure. Of the people here? Maybe. Doesn't make me the white pumpkin, though. And I'm not sure I like you implying otherwise. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Oh, come on! This is nuts! You had a button, too! Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. Yeah. Seems like a pretty complicated case. Well, if there's one person who can untangle it, it's you. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? Now, hang on, hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions leaning, Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. Having gone through all the evidence, right now I'm leaning towards Dan! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you serious? Are you really serious right There's now? There's just way too much drama around Dan wanting his flint and steel back. It's pretty suspicious. Guys, guys, you're not really listening to this, are you? I say we lock him up in the library. Figure out what to do with him in the morning. I fully endorse this plan. Sorry, Dan, but we can't take any chances no, here. No, this is nuts. I'm not the white pumpkin. Aren't you hearing how crazy that sounds? Well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the white pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. I'm not sure, but the White Pumpkin didn't trigger it until Torque Dog was in the exact right spot. That means he must have been watching from somewhere. Creepy. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for, exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? 
conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? Okay then. I'll just keep my eyes peeled for anything white pumpkin-y. Nice plan.